So Swain started his internship with the church at Canaan in January this year and has just completed his six months internship faithfully. He has truly encountered the Lord in tremendous ways and so this morning we will hear from him how God has shaped his faith and also his understanding about the purposes of God. So may this be an encouragement to all our young people here this morning. One more time, let's give Sven a big hand. Okay, 大家早上好. 现在我将要分享我在迦南堂的六个月里的实习的经验 Good morning church So uh, I'd like to take this chance to uh, just share everyone about Some of the few experiences I've had during my internship in Canaan Church um, this year So you know I'll start by just saying you know just like the video said uh, um, In the video uh, the adults were asked you know what would their younger self say to them so I would do the same as well, and I would say that if my younger self from 2018 saw the spiritual state of the person that I am now, and he'll be quite shocked uh, and hopefully be inspired. In the past four years of trying to get to know God better, I had experienced several ups and downs, tests of faith and the power of God. This was no different during my six-month internship in Canaan Church, where I had learned greatly about pursuing a deeper love relationship with God and how to understand his purpose for me and for others. 如果五年前的我看到现在的我在书林的成长,他必会感到震惊与鼓舞。在过去的四年里,我一直努力地想更深入地认识神。在这个过程也经历了各种的祈福。Coming into this internship, I was not too sure what to expect, actually. Seeing that I only had learned about this internship, like, literally right after I OR'd it last November, one and a half months before I started. Moreover, such a program had not existed before, so a lot of the things that Pastor Brian was telling me about, right, is only, could be considered as part of, like, a drafted plan. But yet, I was excited to try it out. And it was a great chance for me not only to utilize my time before university more productively, but also to fully focus on understanding Christianity, the Lord, and His work for us. Little did I know that the experiences I have had in the next six months would be the most imp impactful ones I would ever encounter in my life. Until today, I still thank God for showing me His way. 我去年十一月才得知在教会这个实习的机会。进来实习之前, 我的心是充满期待的。接下来的六个月里,是我一生中经历的最具影响力的半年。我感谢上帝向我显示他的道路. In my time as an intern in church, I have had a vast variety of experiences. However, there were a few encounters I would like to share today that really touched my heart and fueled my desire to know the Lord more. First, I would like to talk more about the planning and execution of important church events with the past two Canaan 50 combined services and the Youth Alpha in March being the more significant ones. 在我的实习期间里,我经历了许多激励与主动我的经历。让我分享几个。首先是迦南堂五十周年与启发课程的策划和执行。for the combined services, I mostly helped with the editing of the videos used in the service. If you remember any of the videos that were used in the past services, they were probably edited by me, including the one that you guys have just seen. I also helped to do some minor ad hoc taskings, such as getting prizes for the games and being one of the MCs for the first combined services. However, sometimes I felt really tired sometimes, very honest. There were definitely some moments where I wondered, why am I doing such a simple thing as this when it probably won't make a difference? You know, I'm sure all of us have thought of that when we are preparing for events such as this one. And sometimes, I just couldn't think of how to improve the quality of whatever I was doing. 在迦南堂五十周年的堂庆中, 我也帮忙了准备游戏奖品, 担任第一起堂庆的主持人之一, 
。然而，有时候我确实会有一些疑问：我所做的一切是值得的吗 ？During these times, I felt God reminding me that I was doing this for the church, the house of God, where God will be glorified by His loyal servants. Being a church intern, I was quickly reminded that I was not helping out with the event for the sake of the people. But for the ultimate praise and glorification of God for blessing our church for the past fifty years and in my own life. Thus, throughout the process, no matter how simple the task was, I tried my best to adopt a mindset of continuous learning and optimism towards the effectiveness of my actions, and open my heart to the Lord on how to approach a certain issue. Such a tweak changed my perspective on the purpose of these events, and I was really glad that there was generally positive feedback from the church about the services. In fact, let us give a round of applause to the planning team who could make today's event and the past two events possible. Yep. 那么在那些时刻，我感受到神在提醒我，我所做的一切都是为了教会。作为一名教会的实习生，我也很快的意识到，我参与的活动并不仅仅是为了神的子民，也是为了让上帝得到最终的称颂和荣耀。感谢他在这五十年来的恩赋，神的提醒改变了我对这些活动目的的看法。Now I talk a bit something closer to my age, which is about the Youth Alpha. Now, while I've participated in several Youth Alpha programs in the past, I felt that this was the first Alpha program that I was involved a bit so much in the planning phase. And although that I was more in charge of the admin side, but I still got to learn more about the heart of Alpha through our training programs. There was actually so much more behind the scenes than what I had gone through. Because of this opportunity, I had learned more not just about Christianity as a whole, but how to bring that concept to non-Christians in as objective a way as possible. And I felt that the Lord was trying to make me recognize the link between the purpose of the Youth Alpha and the call from Him to go forth and make disciples of all nations, because both are interlinked very closely. In fact, I brought one of my close friends to one of the Alpha sessions. In order to challenge myself to do so, which I haven't really done in the past, although my friend、um, unfortunately he did not want to know more, but I was still glad that you know God had guided me to step out of my comfort zone just a little, in a bit to fulfill what God truly wants us to do, and I hope that this will be the start of a fruitful journey that could bring more of my friends to Christ, and I still pray for my friends' hearts to be influenced by the Lord till today. Now, I will talk about the things that are closer to my age. 那就是青年启发课程。虽然我之前参加过几个青年启发课程，但这是我第一次如此深入参与在策划中。这个机会让我不仅更深入的了解到基督教的根根基，还学会了如何客观的将它传达给非基督徒。我也感觉到神让我看到青年启发课程与大使命、大使命呼召的联系。在这青年启发课程，我也带了一位朋友。虽然他并不很感兴趣，但我很高兴，上帝给我勇气去做这个福音的工作。我希望今后能带领更多的朋友来信靠基督，祈祷他们能来信主。Lastly, I would like to talk more about the event that probably had the most impact on me spiritually, and that was the Bilan mission trip. While I have been on several mission trips in the past, This trip was the first time that I was truly involved and engaged in having a better understanding of what our church overseas missionaries are doing in their home soil for the purpose of the Lord's kingdom. Thus, this mission trip felt like my first real mission trip, and it so happened to be my longest one as well. 最后，我想更详细的分享对我在树林上产生最大影响的活动，那就是在 B Land 宣教之旅。This year will be the 25th year since Canaan Church has adopted the bees. Yet I did not really know what they did in Bilan or the true meaning behind their outreach, other than knowing that they are evangelizing to the locals there. Initially, there was fear in my mind, as I slowly began to realize, you know, that the nature of the work that the bees were engaging in is controversial in nature, given that the majority of the bees were cousins in the cousins' faith, if you know what I mean. Moreover. I had to stay there for a month, mostly being on my own. Would I be safe? Would I get detained by the authorities there just by tagging along with them? How do I even engage with the locals if I cannot even speak their language? 
However, I felt the Lord reassuring me that everything would be okay repeatedly and to just be faithful to the Lord and to the beast while in the mission field. With the Lord's wise words in my heart, as well as the accompaniment of Pastor Brian, I flew to B-Land feeling determined to learn something. 今年将是迦南堂的第二十五年在B-Slan的宣教工作。然而,我并不真正了解教会在B-Slan所做的事情。或者这福音工作背后的真正意义。去B-Slan之前,我心里有些恐惧,因为我必须在那里待一个月。大
，我也希望凭借我所学到的知识和灵性智慧，我能够激励我们的青年团队参与在新加坡的宣教活动，去积极的传福音。Even though it has only been six months, the experiences that I have encountered are once in a lifetime, and extremely impactful to my spiritual development. Truly, the greatest way to get closer is to God is to go out there and experience His work around us beyond the Sunday services and our weekly church meetings. This internship has brought about great opportunities for me to witness the power of the Lord and understand more about how to go about doing so. Yet, I feel that I still have a long way to go. I will keep these experiences in my heart for a lifetime as a testimony to His great power and love, and with the hope to be able to inspire youth such as myself to have a burning passion for an intimate relationship with God and the Scriptures. To all the youth out there listening to my message, I encourage you to take a leap out of your comfort zone and see what God has truly in store for you. You don't have to take a take up an internship program like me, but. If any opportunity to go to the mission field or even just the local community were to arise in the future, pray for God to open your heart, and He will show you the way. Even small acts of services are big in the eyes of the Lord, so do not be faltered. Let these experiences be the catalyst to your development of an intimate relationship with God, because I promise you, if you can become close to God, the way you see things will change in a good way, just like mine did. You will find safety and comfort amidst the truth you have in the Lord, and have more confidence to go forth and fulfill the Great Commission. So, actually, this sharing is just part of the full report that I have written, and the church will be releasing the full version of it soon. So, do look forward to that. Thank you for listening, and to God be all the glory.